So last week, a story broke about a pregnant woman who was caught by her husband in their matrimonial bed, having carnal knowledge with a so-called pastor. Yesterday, news broke again that the pregnant woman has allegedly killed herself. Now, the argument is who is to blame? The husband who recorded and posted the video online or the woman who committed the act? We'd like to hear your thoughts on this. You can join the conversation and call us on 0812705-3687 or 091-390-76948. So uh, this was a viral video that went round. Uh, social media, a lot of people were talking about it. And first of all, I was wondering the, the sort of scenario that played out. Because you know, when we saw that video, we saw they were charms. Would I call them charms or candles on the floor, lit up, looked uh, like jazzy, like a jazzy arrangement. It really didn't look like a bedroom. So I was asking myself, was this done in a right frame of mind? Now let's mm. take this call, Ade from London. Good morning, Ade. Yeah, good morning, lady. Uh, I think we're in a perilous time now. Mm -hmm. uh, because I'm wondering, all the cheating, cheating, cheating are women. Why are women cheating these days? With men. I mean, uh, uh, you you should to talk to them. You have women, really talk to your colleagues. I don't know. That's the idea. That they should stop cheating. Yeah. So women go to work hard, and they come back and see women cheating, cheating. Please advise them. Okay. I think it's the end time. Wow, Mr. Ade, interesting. So he, uh, I was going to talk about, yeah, I wanted to talk about <laughs> no, the, the pastor. You know, when we, the story in the Bible showed that when, when Jesus confronted the woman that was caught cheating, that was about to be stoned to death, he asked, well, if anybody hasn't had sin, mm. but there was, the other partner was never there. So it's always historically been the case where if and when situations like cheating happens, mm. the woman gets picked on yeah. and the man <laughs> is never, his face barely shows. We saw his, his, his picture, but everybody knew who the woman that was pregnant mm. and caught cheating was, but we did not mention, this is the pastor, this is his church, mm. this is what he's what doing. Are what are his own consequences? So, so we didn't shame him enough mm. for him to commit suicide. Let's take this call, Amina from Kaduna. Good morning, Amina. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello? Good morning, we can hear you, you're live. Okay. For the first time, I'm happy getting you. Oh, mm. nice. All along, I've been trying. I've never been able to get you. Oh, I'm happy, happy to see you. you. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Yeah. <laughs> you are doing a very wonderful job. I say congratulations and thank you very much. Keep thank it you. up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The issue, the, the issue you are discussing is a very unfortunate situation. Like one of you rightly said, the women are always at the receiving end. And unfortunately, we women, we don't always learn. There's every possibility that this woman must have been hypnotized into doing it. Mm. That is led to the pastor or the so-called pastor or whoever is in the situation. Nobody knows. But the truth now is that she gave in to it, and there's nothing anybody can do. If there's anybody that is behind her death, I won't blame the, the husband as such. There's this feeling of uh, disappointment, and you will feel it, it, there's every possibility too that he must have been following this lady up with this pastor. It's not something that has been done for the first time. Mm. And now that he caught them red handed, he felt okay, the only way he can get over it is to post this thing out Shame and maybe get a relief, which is not the best. But I think the pastor is the one that has caused this woman's death. And unfortunately, this pastor, like one of you rightly say, nobody knows who is the pastor yeah. from which church and how he got to that house. The woman is the one in, at the center of the whole uh, affair. I think my advice for women is when you are in a marriage or in a relationship that you think you are not getting what you want, just quietly find your way out. Mm. Mm. If you Thank you, Amina. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this result. You. And I was like, ah, village people, they get me. I told you we were not wedding. They like, is that wedding day? Maybe they spray me money. I thought of all sorts of possible. Mm. Me that I'm always strong-minded and I, w I was broken. Let's take oh, yeah. this call from Pastor Adeyemi from Lekki. Good morning, Pastor Adeyemi. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Can you hear me? We can hear you. You're live. Okay, good morning. My name is Pastor Adeyemi from Lekki. I, I like what you ladies are doing, but the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sister, busy, busy, busy. 
May God Almighty continue to strengthen you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Quickly, eh? It will be very hard for pastors of this day not to be saved women. Ask me why. Churches that are preaching the true word of God, these women will not go there. Mm. They prefer to go to places where they will be deceived. Mm. It's not only happening to women, it's also happening to men. So until people begin to speak to scriptures, that's where they will be free from all these deceits. Mm. So that's my contribution this morning. People should stop looking for fast way, you know, to pay. Let us speak to the word of God. Concerning that situation you are going through, what is the word of God saying concerning it? Not what the pastor is saying. Mm. The you so you, much, Pastor. You discover the word of God. Then the solution will come to your problem. Mm. Not what the pastor told you or what, what anybody tells you. Mm. May God help us in Jesus. In that Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Day. I mean, in addition Another to that, angle. quickly, um, even the scripture says, test the spirits. Test all spirits. And I used to feel very bad when I see people who just rush to a particular place and everything, you just hear, my pastor said, my this one said, my that one said, which one have you heard yourself for yourself, for your situation? I used to feel bad and then they were like, ah, you, you are a rebel. Are you saying we should not believe our, and they just, in fact, in my home, it started in my house where they tagged me a rebel. Just this pastor said, pastor said, leave this out of it. She will insult you people. Because I just had to question. There were some things I heard that it didn't make sense. It didn't make logical sense. It didn't even make spiritual sense with the little spiritual knowledge that I had. <laughs> I felt like, mm -mm, this is, can I, can I hear? Can I have that corner? Good morning, ladies. Good morning, sir. Yeah, thank you for the good work. Uh, thank you for the, this topic. Um, I, now, I, I can now say that you are talking of a solution. I think the, the, the best of the solution is uh, the man himself, the man. The man needs to support the wife. Mm. He needs to protect the woman from his relation, from even her relation. You understand? Because I was there, you know, and I know what it takes. Mm. In fact, it was so bad that I don't even associate with my town people. Wow. I don't go to town uh, meeting. You know, I don't go to even to the village. You know, it was as bad. But I supported my wife. Mm. I was behind her. I protected her from everybody, whether my mother, whether my brother, whether my sister. It's my responsibility. After all, she was a, she, she, she is a stranger to that family. It was me that brought her to the family. Mm. You don't know her from Adams. Wow. You know? So I protected her. I secured her, you know, until God was, uh, you know, eventually answered us. So it is That's important amazing, for Gabriel. the man. It is important for the man to start by the wife. Because he said it was better for one. Mm. So when it is now... Uh, trouble. Why must you abandon the woman to the to the to the uh, to the uh, to the to the situation? Mm. And that is Thank why. you so much, Gabriel. Then secondly, mm. you were you were talking about uh, uh, IVF. The cost of IVF is too high. I think Expensive. that is where government should call me mm. to subsidize the cost of IVF. Uh, IVF. Not everybody can afford it. When you are talking of average uh, family, mm -hmm. they cannot afford it. So if the government can subsidize it, probably it will assist, you know. Thank you yeah. so much, Gabriel. So